forsake me not, O Lord, my God. Be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord, my strong salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. And the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you service, right worthy and praiseworthy service, grant we pray that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, have among yourselves the same attitude that is also yours in Christ Jesus, <clears throat> who, though he was in the form of God, did not require, regard equality with God, something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, Coming in human likeness and found human in appearance, he humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend, of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue Confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. A responsorial psalm. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. I will fulfill my vows before those who fear him. The lowly shall eat their fill. They who seek the Lord shall praise him. May your hearts be ever merry. I will, I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. All the ends of the earth shall be remembered and turned to the Lord. All the families of the nations shall bow down before him. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. For dominion is the Lord's, and he rules the nations. To him alone shall bow down all who sleep in the earth. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. To him my soul shall live, my descendants shall serve him. Let the coming generation be told of the Lord, that they may proclaim to a people yet to be born the justice he has shown. I will, I will praise, praise you, Lord, Lord, in the assembly of your people. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Come to me, all you who are labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. One of those at table with Jesus said to him, Blessed is the one who will dine in the kingdom of God. He replied to him, 
A man gave a great dinner to which he invited many. When the time for the dinner came, he dispatched his servant to say those invited, Come, everything is now ready. But one by one, they all began to excuse themselves. The first said to him, I have purchased a field and must go to examine it. I ask you, consider me excused. And another said, I have purchased five yoke of oxen and, don't, and am on my way to evaluate them. I ask you, consider me excused. And another said, I have just married a woman and therefore I cannot come. The servant went and reported this to his master. Then the master of the house in a rage commanded his servant, go out quickly into the streets and alleys of the town and bring in here the poor and the crippled, the blind and the lame. The servant reported, sir, your orders have been carried out and still there is room. The master then ordered the servant, go out to the highways and hedgerows and make people come in that my home may be filled. For I tell you, none of those men who were invited will taste my dinner. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Of course, Jesus responds to the man who's, who has to you know, say, Blessed is the one who will die in the kingdom of God. Christ's response is just a statement about the kingdom of God and, and what's going to happen, what could happen. There are three parables in this chapter of Luke, interestingly enough, about meals. And in each one, Christ uses the opportunity to teach those there with him us 2,000 years later, the message is still just as powerful. And of course, the comparison is God's invitation to heaven with the master's invitation to a great banquet. The ones that are invited first, no doubt, represent the Jews. The poor, the crippled, the blind, the lame, tax collectors, sinners, those are perhaps outcasts of the Jewish society, but still Jews. Frequently the outcasts accepted Christ in a way that the Pharisees and scribes did not. Those outcasts in many ways achieved when the spiritual leaders failed. And I thought it was interesting also that commonly the when the master talks about go out to the highways and hedgerows, those folks represent the lowly Gentiles. Thank goodness that even those are invited. Because there's plenty of room in the banquet hall for all of us. Didn't the excuses sound so familiar? For some reason, for 2,000 years, people have been making excuses about why they could not attend the banquet. And just like this banquet and, and that time, you know, that a master, a king, whoever would have this great banquet and they would announce many days in advance, clear this day on your calendar because this is the day we're going to have this big banquet. And to not attend was a great offense. Just like it's a great offense not to prepare for God's banquet for us in heaven. And these individuals making the same kind of lame excuses that, unfortunately, so many 
of mankind make today. It's a strange thing to me that this continues to happen. He knocks on your door to let you know, here I am, I love you. All you need to do is love me. And we say, well, you know, I've got something to do. St. Ambrose said this so eloquently that he just summed it all up. And if I may quote him, he said, and talking about this thing, you have been given time on this earth, not eternity. Use the time as those who know they are going to set out from here. In other words, St. Ambrose was telling us this is just a starting place. You can act like you're going to, this is it. But this is just where you start. Use your time wisely. Really summed it up. And of course, it ties in precisely with what our beloved Saint Mother Teresa of Calcutta said when she told us, let nothing come between you and Jesus. Let nothing come between you and love. It's there waiting for us. Peace be with you. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. For Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy, with the people entrusted to their charge, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who hold public office and those who assist them in promoting the common good, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who travel by sea, land, or air, for captives and all held in prison. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered in this sacred place by faith and devotion, by love and reverence for God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those in our community, both here present and those watching on video, who are suffering, whether from physical, emotional, or mental illnesses, that they may be comforted by the resurrected Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for Joan Squires, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all of our intentions, spoken and unspoken, joined through the intercession of St. Thomas the Apostle, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Offering all our prayers to the Father. Let us conclude with the prayer in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, for all the heaven. Amen. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Bless us, God, forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, that will become our spiritual drink. Bless us, God, forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the 
praise and glory of his name. For our good and good the Lord's holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is surely right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all of the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down the Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity and accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other.
the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. <clears throat> behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth glorifying the Lord by your life. God. Prayer to St. Michael for our families. Holy Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine powers, thrust into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. 
divine praise protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed, Blessed be God. God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit in his soul. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be the Holy Spirit. 